Hi guys, welcome to another session of how to write a scientific research paper. My name is Nasrin from Agnesoft and in today's video we are going to be looking at how to write an introduction for research paper. We want to learn about how can we write it in four straightforward and pretty simple steps. Many students struggle with how to write it for a research paper. In this regard, I will show the details to you. And so, without any delay, let's get started it. What is an introduction? To find the answer of this authentic question, it's important to say that the introduction is precisely an outline of your research. By several statements, you are trying to present your research framework in a clear, concise, appealing, and well-organized way. So, be aware that if a reader reaches to the end of the introduction and doesn't find out what to expect in the rest of the paper, you may have missed her attention and lose the mark. So, most people judge a book by the cover, and honestly, the introduction looks like the cover. So, if your introduction is weak, it may make the reader want to put your research paper aside. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we want to learn about how to write the introduction in four straightforward and pretty simple ways. In this regard, it is necessary to know that we have four steps. The first one is define the topic consists of a context with a rational sequence and set the context. Try to define it and present the terms and principal concepts by writing two or three statements. You can start your introduction by this tip. It's really important to know. The second one, it would be try to declare the problem. Reflect the significance of raised issues that is beginning address in your work and be considered that by consider several sequence you can do it. At the, I mean that uh, issues, motivation of your work, the key characteristic of your study. In this regard, a reader or reviewer should know form of the introduction and you can understand what problem you are trying to solve and also the reviewer or uh, the reader. So why is it important and how are your innovatives? This step is really important. And for the third one, uh, if we want to know that, the third one is literature review. A start the literature review at main site to other studies. By considering this point beside the innovation of your work and also the flaws and issues of previous study compared to your work, you can, you will be able to recognizing available gaps and detecting them. And then after, you will be able to present fundamental tips to demonstrate your research excellence. It is the time to give reader foods for thought. It's a really good time to introduction several main concepts and related works. Show, in this regard, show the importance of your research and motivation of your work. Then after, you can explain why is your research important. And by the, these uh, three steps, you can answer, you can, I mean, that expects to answer the third step. Okay, for the first one, objectives, hypothesis, assumption, and question. You can try to list the objectives of your work and make hypotheses, assumption, and central question. But consider that if you have three different ob uh, objectives or questions, then it's really important that as objectives, you can follow these objectives in the result parts. So you should have three different uh, sections for the result parts. So, it's really important to know these tips for writing the assumption and questions. And, and not for, these, are, these are all the tips about this one. 
Okay, for if I want to summarize them, why is the research important? What is the main innovation or problem? Literature review was your approach, defined the terms and compared with the other studies. And the last, objectives and questions. How will your paper be organized? These are four important tips in summarize format. And there are different general do's and don'ts that when my student asks me and need my help in writing an excellent and flawless introduction, I eliminate their worries with a list of tips. First of all, I recommend you write it last. If you have difficulties and don't have enough confidence to start with the introduction first, you will be able to decide on the type of the contact that would better match the rest of your paper. The second one, download. Uh, beginnings is so hard. So download samples of research paper introductions with the other papers. It would be make you um, better to understand what's happened in the related subject. So you can download different papers and get it very well. The third one, you are going to introduction your research question, the purpose of your study, the question going to answer, and uh, also is really important. So you can find, you can put it in the last paragraph. The first one, use recent and new references for the literature review. Don't use the old one, the oldest one. It's important to know about that. And maybe it will be tedious if you were used uh, the old one. For the fifth tip is follow guidelines of pro, uh, professional writing. It uh, helps you to better understand the different steps of, research, of your introduction in the research paper. So these are the things that you should consider them as those in your introduction. For don'ts, you know, for a professional writing, too long introduction uh, will bore uh, the reader. It means uh, remain brief and uh, likely lose the audience if it is so long. Don't put the final result and analyze the rest of uh, results section. It means that don't put the result curves or tables in your introduction. It wouldn't be good. So don't use old references. As I told you before, try to use the newest one. And sometimes it is okay if you don't have enough references, but it, would be, it wouldn't be interesting to use old references. And also, for the next don'ts, don't write slang uh, phrases such as really, cool, and etc. Avoid first and second persons. It means, like this example, as I depicted in the previous session, it wouldn't be right. You should better to write it as was depicted in the previous session. For another example, for example, as you can see, it is not true as um, false. You can write that as one can see, you know, these are important tips. And the others, never copy a sentence from a study paper or book. Plagiarize, it, it is prohibited. You can use it unless you use, um, you make a citation and rephrase the sentence. It would be okay, but try to don't copy and paste it. With code and reference it, it, it would be okay. Another one, avoid contractions. Let's, won't, can't, don't, it wouldn't be good. Avoid passive cases. It means that such this one, the river's discharge. It would be better to write the discharge of the river, you know, it's really important to know this tip also. Okay, let's review the tips about the introduction, uh, such as different videos. It is the time. time. Uh, it's one of my paper about modeling and reconstructing the three rings, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's important to know that we have different terms in this topic. First, three ring growth index, climate variables, artificial intelligence, and statistical methods. So by these four uh, tips, I want to follow the introduction. The first part, 
according to the uh, for the climate change and also tree rings and then after i tried to introduce tree rings different papers to make citations and show the gaps and innovations of these works and like that so first of all climate variables i put a table it's it is not bad because i should uh, res, um, to cite different papers and then after, for climate variables, I try to show the drought and uh, available references. And then uh, about artificial intelligence, if you remember another word, I start to introduction the artificial intelligence related references and cite the new ones to show the gaps and importance of the works and show these tips. And the next one, it is important to know that, the, as I told you before, the last part would be related to objectives. I have six objectives here. It means that it's related to different things. You can see that I have different, uh, I mean that uh, objectives and three main questions at the rest. So I want to show you in the results section, I have different parts. I should uh, located my result in six different steps. And if you see here, one, two, three, four, five, and then after you can see the last part as the last part of this introduction, the sixth one. So please respect to these important tips related to write the introduction and then after located in the results section. So it is all about the important tips about how can we write an introduction. Please subscribe to our channel, like, and don't forget to share it with others. Put your comments and questions below the videos. It uh, gave me some motivation to put some more different things. Thank you so much. Bye.